Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Good morning and welcome to Farm Factor on Ag Game in Kansas. I'm your host, Conrad Camus. Each year, FFA chapters around the country celebrate National FFA Week, a week-long tradition that began back in 1947. FFA students compete in a variety of ways. The most notable is the CDE program. Career Development Events, or CDEs, build on what is learned in agriculture classes and encourage members to put their knowledge into practice. These events are designed to help a member prepare for a career in agriculture. I'm Kyle Apley, and I'm currently serving this year as the state reporter for the Kansas FFA Association. Uh, one of our responsibilities, and definitely one of my favorite ones, uh, is assisting in our state CDEs, which is our career development events. Now these events allow students to put their best technical skills that they learned in that ag classroom and through FFA uh, to the test and really compete against other members in an atmosphere that is encouraging and is really all about growing their own skills. For instance, some of these CDEs may range from public speaking, such as giving an FFA creed and prepared speeches, all the way up to meats and livestock judging. Uh, here at the state level, Kansas is very competitive and is a great way for students to show off what they have gained and learned throughout the school year and even find themselves scholarships and opportunities to travel throughout the United States. Uh, this year through FFA week, uh, we're starting to see some of these district contests and CDEs uh, really come into play as people are getting ready for those state CDE. Today, the officers were at the State House talking to legislators about the importance of agriculture education in the classroom and how it affects students' lives. The State FFA organization believes that their youth leadership organization makes a positive difference in the lives of young people by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agriculture education. Just being able to uh, reach out and meet some of these legislators has really been a great opportunity for our organization and even personally uh, as a whole. Um, through FFA, just being able to meet with Governor Brownback uh, really allows us to show how FFA has grown us and allows us to grow those other students in our organization. Um, Mr. Brownback has had a really rich history in the FFA, uh, both serving as a Kansas State President and even a National Officer. So it's great to see him as a person that really understands FFA's importance. And today he was able to provide us with some hints and some tips as to how we can make the best out of our year and also provide and serve those members of the Kansas FFA the best that we can. I'm Dr. Frank Lyons, a physician here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. As one of the only standalone stem cell centers in the U.S., we use your stem cells as therapy for arthritis and some autoimmune diseases. I'm Dr. Andrew Poe. Here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center, Utilizing the latest technology under strict protocols, we're able to harvest your stem cells from your own fat to treat a variety of medical conditions. The best part about it is, it's a same-day surgical procedure and requires no general anesthesia.